Hey, it's your boy KT the Gamer in the Narc's Lair. Hey. Hit that like button. I love you. Hey, what's up, y'all? Today we're going to talk about the narcissist. No, we're going to talk about what the narcissist is, is designed to do. Okay. Before I start, I want to say sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I know y'all thinking we didn't even think you was gonna upload. I know, I know. I, I normally I, will, I was gonna upload a big video yesterday. You know, maybe something better than this one. I don't know, but y'all love my stuff and I appreciate y'all for it. But that's me beating myself up. Hey, if all my videos good to y'all, I thank y'all. Appreciate y'all for that. But I was under the weather. I'm under the weather right now. I was feel, I wasn't feeling so good yesterday. I was tired and weak, and I didn't even have enough energy. But I did, you know, post some some pics up, you know, on my channel, uh, you know, giving some wisdom out the best way I could, you know, stuff I got off Google, which and Facebook and shit. Anyway, so <laughs> hey, it is what it is. So um, and uh, you know, hope y'all read that stuff, and you know, hope y'all you know learned something from that. But now I'm about to teach y'all something, and I'm here. Um, my new system might be acting weird or something. It's like when I get when it, since it's been cold, and now I all of a sudden want to warm back up. My new system start acting all weird. I don't know what it is, but I don't know if it has something to do with the weather. But I get this little cold. But this time I got this little cold. But it's like my body is fighting it. But anyway, I'm getting better. But anyway, so bear with me. I'm gonna be sniffing in my nose and shit. Sorry, <clears throat> probably might be coughing. Anyway, so. Um, this is what a narcissist is designed to do. They are designed to destroy you, steal, kill, and destroy. Just like the goddamn devil. I'm being honest, straight up, straight up to the point. Yay! So, what 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 the narcissist um is designed to do is to uh come after people like me and you, you and I. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to anybody who's watching out, out there right now, I hope you're learning something from this. If you're being narcissistically, narcissistically abused, don't worry about nothing. You'll be all right. The world is not ending. Their world is ending within, within them. Okay. But honestly, if you need the help, go seek help. If you want to watch one of my videos, I'm right here. I'm here to teach you how to avoid the situations and defend yourself in the situations. And plus, I'm here to make sure everybody's okay because i love all y'all i love you and i'm not saying this because y'all subscribe to my channel or nothing like that but i will say this we do have 333 subscribers keep on pushing it y'all hey i will give out a shout out i ain't forget about y'all love you now i will be giving out another shout out giving out a shout out to anybody you know only if we reach to 340 Hey, if you want, I'll shout out your um your YouTube channel for you. Hey, hey, come on, hey. But let's let's work together. But anyway, the narcissists love to go out to good people like me and you, the empaths, the good people, the good guys, the nice side, because they think they they so manipulative, manipulative. I'm sorry, I'm caught watching wrestling. Anyway, they so manipulative. To the point where they think, no, but it, not only they're manipulative, I'm going to get back to that. Sorry, I made a mistake. Okay. They always coming after us overthinkers, okay? They love to tear us down. They, they are designed to destroy us, okay? Because deep down inside, they want you to beat them down. Yeah. Let's just say, my narcissist used to tell me, why won't you hit me? Yeah, stuff like that. I'm like, no, you know, because we all have morals. So they're designed to take you out, take you down, down beneath and with them. They want you to be a low life with them, you know. So they are designed to, they think, and they are designed to destroy us in the sense where they think, they're going to mess with us good people thinking we ain't going to snap back and get at them back, you know, defend ourselves. But they're not, not, they know who to mess with and not to mess with. They know who to mess with and not to mess with. I mean, and who not to mess with. I can't talk right, y'all. Sorry. And 
sometimes you can mess with an empath too much and then break loose, unleash, um, get unhinged on your asses. And I've had to get, honestly, I've had to get unleashed. I had to unleash the dragon on some folks to the point where they didn't know what to do and say. Because for some real reason, it, the narcissists get caught by surprise. They think it's really okay to hurt you. They don't see you as a human being. They're looking at you as a thing. Like a cup that need to be cleaned. A remote. They're looking at you like something to use. And then once you're done with you, what you do? Discard it. Throw it away. Not literally. Don't throw your remote away. But, you know, just, um, you know, they just, you know, set it down somewhere. That's how they do. Um, but see, you can discard them because they have, they are inner child. Okay. They, I mean, no, not inner child. They have an inner child, except they are the child. You know what I'm saying? On the outside, they, they are childish. They are 50, 60, 20 something year old children. Just like if a baby catching a tantrum, you pick that baby up, set him on that chair, let him cry. That's all you can do. They crying over something and they're already satisfied. And they got all they, they spoil riding, let them cry. You know, that's what my mom had to do to me when I was five. I wanted everything in that candy store. She said, no, I don't know what to tell you. Or if I ain't get to go to Kelly's, ah, oh, they got a Kelly. Yeah. yeah. They just sent me in the corner, let me just scream out until I fall asleep. That's how you treat a narcissist. Okay. <laughs> but they are designed to kill your self esteem. They always hit you with the. Why is your clothes looking like that? You gonna dress like that before we get into this club, girl? Or, or my favorite one, uh, why your nose so dirty? You know, it, it's just they always why, why this and why that. They always try to tear you down, try to tear down your self esteem because, you know, they try to kill your confidence because they don't have no confidence. They wish they had your confidence. They wish they can be you. That's their problem in everything. Oh, sorry, I got a notification. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, back back to what I was saying. They want to be you. They want to be everything you... They want to have everything you have. They want to be part of you. They just want to be you. That's why they manipulate. And they love to... They are designed to make you feel small. They like to make you feel real small. Um... You ever had a moment where you was talking to someone and dealing with them, arguing with them, and they gave you that vibe where you just felt like you just wanted to just duck away and hide because you just didn't feel so right around them after this argument you had with them? That's how they are. They they make you feel real small. They always they so they so evil. You know what I'm saying? Like they 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 they're the smallest people of the bunch, but they try to make you feel just like how they are small. So they like to bait you in by mirror. I can't even talk again. Mirroring you, mirroring you. They'll mirror you. Basically, if you love orange juice, they like orange juice. If you like candy, like if you like strawberry candies, they like strawberry candies all of a sudden. And if you eat a bunch of them, if you love them, them candies like that, and they don't really like that, like that, then you know it. They'll force themselves to eat it if they have to. They'll force themselves to eat a bunch the same way as you eat them, just to. Make you feel comfortable around them. They want you to feel comfortable to tear you apart. Okay, that's all they want. You know, they're snakes. They're evil like that. They want you to feel comfortable. So around them, you know, they can tear you down. Like there will, there's some narcissists out here that will, you know, fake like they're your friend, be all nice to you, and then. You know, be all buddy buddy in your face, and then behind your back talking shit. Okay, or not if not talking shit, they be behind. They be. Why does he act like that? Why is this? See, it's always the why. It's always the why, why, why. You know what I'm saying? And so they do that to tear you down to make you feel bad about yourself. They try to make you feel bad. They're designed to make you feel bad for doing the things you want to do in your own life. If I want to eat grapes all my life, I can do that. It's my choice. If it, too much is not the good for you, but if I choose to do that, it's my choice. But that makes you feel bad for it. I get if you're going to help them and say, hey, don't eat too much grapes like that. It, it, it hurts you. Like That's that's the real way to handle a situation like that. But then they'd be like, for example, you don't got to be grapes, but you know, just for example, 
oh, why you always eat all those grapes like that? You're going to get fat. You know, they try to make you feel bad for doing you. They're designed to tear you down, rip you apart, tear down your spirit. And then if you if you're strong enough and you know how to defeat them in your own little calm way, they will start trying to put their hands on you. That's when shit get real. They're resulting to want to be fighting, right? But guess what? When I say they're small little children, they're cowards. Because when you get all big bad wolf on them, they try to get all scared. But see, they'll use your emotions against you. That's the fucked up problem is with these narcissists. They will try to use your emotions against you to to beat you down. No, no, no. For you to get all big bad wolf on them. And all of a sudden, oh, you're threatening me. How you go from motherfucker this and blah, 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 blah. And now you like, you're real long. Now to get all, oh, you're threatening me. Oh, my God. Really? 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 Like, who does stuff like that? What are your true intentions? How dare you? You get what I'm saying? That's my favorite catchphrases. You know, they have their catchphrases too. But anyway, they just always... They're just so annoying. You know, they're like little mosquitoes that, that won't leave you alone. No matter how much you just snip at them and to kill them away, they just won't go away. But here's the way to make them, to, to block them out. Not even block them out. It's by not even dealing with them. You know what I'm saying? Not even dealing with them. Let them be them. Because guess what? You're going to do you. But they're not going to let you do you. <clears throat> let them be them. You know? If they're like us, like I said, they can be that tornado going and going and trying to destroy and cause chaos. That's what they're designed to do, cause chaos. You can be reading your book. You can be watching one of my videos. You can be hitting that like button. You feel me? You can be doing any of that. You caught on to that? Anyway, so um so so at the end of the day, that tornado is gonna destroy itself. Because think about it, a real tornado, they're gonna it's gonna pass through. You can be driving your car. Oh, look at that tornado. Oh, it's going to pass through. You know, we have, we finally had enough as, as a people, as a whole, as a good people. The, the, this community, we have had enough with these Tasmanian devils. <laughs> these tornadoes that destroys themselves, always making a mess. You know, and, 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 and the problem is, the problem is they are the problem, but they the, they have a problem with themselves. OK, they don't know how to connect with people. Right. They only connect people by what they love because they only think one dimensional. OK, they feel like, oh, you like ketchup. I'm going to come in here with a ketchup so, so you can just say something to give me that attention. Because if I love ketchup that much, for example, I see somebody with ketchup. So, oh, my God, you like ketchup. Are oh, they going to be ready for you to take that bait? They, they're going to do anything to attract you to them. If they really, if they see you, because they be out on the hunt like lions, they're vicious. But you can be vicious too. That's what people forgetting. But one thing I say is, an empath is designed to make things better in life. A narcissist is to is to is designed to destroy everything around them, because nothing to them is enough. Okay, I learned that the hard way. No matter what you do for them, it's not enough. You can literally bring their dead mother back to life probably go into the grave, touch them and do some magic shit, bring them back to life. They have their mother back. They have their sister. They have their friend. <laughs> what was that? Anyway, that shit scared the crap out of me. I don't know what that was. I think I must have kicked something too hard. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on, y'all. That made me hella nervous. Sorry, y'all. Whoo! I'm a scary cat. Something had failed, and I got all I got all scared. Um. Yeah. They they you, you can bring their loved ones back. Y'all caught that live. Y'all caught that. I got scared. I try to be cool, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they can you can bring something their loved ones back, their dog back, their cat back. That's still not going to be enough for them. They are designed. They they just want more. They are designed to make you prove them wrong. 
they can be like, you are a bad person. You, you're not good. They, 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 they quick to tell you, make you look like the bad person, right? And then now you're stuck here trying to prove it to the world by doing nice things for people. I've even done it. But they don't care about that. They make, it makes them feel powerful. Like, yes, this person is proving, trying to prove to me that means I'm important then. That makes me feel well. That's the way they think. So, no, you ain't got to prove nothing to them. You just be your own nice, good self. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about nothing. And they all, when I say they always want attention, they, they are designed to get your attention a lot. They will always want your approval of everything. Do my shirt look good? Do I look good? You know, they always want that. that so then, boom, it draws in attention, you know. And they love to love bomb you, especially these narcissistic parents out here. They go from, well, I don't give a damn about my kids to let me feed you something real quick and nurture you just to destroy you again. Don't fall for the BS, especially if you're grown up. If you're grown, I can't tell you what to do in your life. But when it came to my mom, I had to leave. I left without even saying a word. It was All it took was one last random argument about nothing. That's all it did. That's what happened to me. And I left. And, and I'm still gone. You know? And whether I'm grown or not, like, if, I don't care if I was 15, 16. I was going to get up out of there if I had it, if I had the money. You get, me, you get what I'm saying? And this is me being serious. So, uh, for the haters out there who always used to say, you need to be more serious. Well, here you go. <laughs> so, um, so, my thing is, you know, narcissists, they, they, they don't have any confidence within themselves, so they got to tear down your self-confidence. They are wicked people and evil people, and they need to be, they need to be, you know, destroyed in their own, in your own way. Des- destroy them by being peaceful. Destroy them by being happy. You get what I'm saying? Because their main goal in life is to see you down. No matter how much compliments they give you, because they think about it, as soon as you meet a person and they tell them about you the greatest person of all, the greatest person ever, just by because they saw you help open a door for an old lady, no, they see you what they think one dimensional. They can't think like me and you think, okay? Like you and I, you know, we're overthinkers. I'm an overthinker. Yeah, I'd be up all night studying about narcissism, you know. But guess what? I even had my my my, my narcissistic ex try to tell me. Narcissism don't exist. Uh, I'm dumb for trying to learn this and that. Well, if I'm so dumb, then why I got about what 333 subscribers, and I appreciate y'all. So my thing, is, my thing is, uh, um, my thing is, they they always try to, you know, they they like to let you down. They're good at letting you. They'll let you down when you really need them the most, and they pretend like they ain't doing nothing wrong. People are like, yeah, I need a couple of grocery items real quick. You think you can help me out? And they promise you. And then when it's time for the time to come, oh, I forgot, because they unresponsible. They irresponsible. It's like they nobody ain't responsible to take care of you and all. But if you're gonna make promises like I'm gonna take care of you, I'm gonna make sure you scrape. Make sure that person's scrape. Don't don't do a person wrong when you know they're going through a lot, because they're the types that. When you're going through enough already in your life, they did that to make it worse. That's what they're designed to do. Make your life a living hell. Because they're a bunch of hellhounds. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. So, it's like, you don't need them. You don't need them at all. And they definitely don't need you anymore. Okay? They're always looking for a narcissistic supply. Okay? And, and, and and they don't, you know, it's like they are lonely people. They ain't got nobody in their life only because they destroyed and burnt so many bridges with with people that, you know, was that was supposed to be important to them. But they threw them under the bus to get that next high. It's a drug to them. That narcissistic high is tearing you down because that's what a narcissist is designed to do. They're designed to tear you down, rip you apart, and kill your spirit. Like I said, they will try to make you feel bad for doing the things you love. 
I even love pro wrestling. My narcissistic mom even used to tell me, you always watching that fake stuff and you always this and that and this and that. You're never going to be a wrestler because you have asthma and blah, blah, blah. You're right. I'm not a wrestler. <laughs> but guess what? I'm a YouTuber. Okay. Huh. I got fans. I always said I wanted some type of fans to show love to me, no matter what, if I was a wrestler or not. And I got them. Thanks to, I got y'all. That's like a slap in her face. <laughs> you feel me? You, so, you know, I know it surprises y'all sometimes. Like, damn, for him to be so calm and collective after all the stuff he been through, I know you're thinking, damn, I would personally go insane if that was me. Trust me, I've been, I went insane before. Not insane, asylum insane, but I became real, a bitter person. They will, that's what they'll do. They'll make you a bitter person. They will make you hate them. And, and normally, you know, if somebody, if you, if somebody, you know, if you hate somebody and they're, you know, let's say they're just a normal person, they hate, and, you, and they did something wrong, and you hate them because of something they really did that's really bad. People that got to go hard, they care about that. Like, if you hate me because I didn't give you a shout out, I'm going to take that serious. Like, I'm deeply sorry for what I did. And uh, if I give you a shout out, would that help you forgive me for what I did wrong? That's what a, an empath would say. For example, because if you hate me because I ain't giving you no shout out, that's cool. You're free to you free to feel how you want to feel. I still still apologize for it. You get what I'm saying? But to them, they love it when you hate them. They want you to hate them. Why? Because they they see that you got hate in your heart. Now you part. Now you like them in a sense. They so delusional like that. They don't. They so delusional in their heads. They can never see you as a good thing. They don't want to see you as a good thing because you are a representation of something that they're not. They're not good people. If you're a good person, they get jealous of that. They hate that. They hate you because of that. So for them to make, for they'll tear you down and cause you to, they're, des, they're, make, they're designed to tear you down and make you hate them because they want you to have hate in your heart so they can, so y'all can hate the world together. You get what I'm saying? They don't care if you hate them, as long as you hate them. That's what they want. <clears throat> no, I'm not saying kill what kind is to show love to them. No, they're going to be quick to do all these. They do all these bad things to you, and then be like, "Hey, how you doing?" Ignore them, or if you want, you can say, "Hey," and then keep it moving. They're not important. Or if they come up to you on some, if you say, "Hey, how you doing?" No, if they say, "Hey, how you doing?" Choose one day not to even say a word to them. They're going to think, oh, you must be mad at me because they think so one-sided like that. Us overthinkers, we don't think that way. We will think maybe she's having a bad day. Maybe she's, you know, he or she is, you know, not just in a good mood. Or maybe they just don't feel like being bothered. That's understandable. That's how we think, three-dimensional. They think one-dimensional. They see things in black, only in black and white, good or just bad. We see they, We see good, bad, the ugly the worst, the best. We see all. We see it from different sides of the circle. They only see it in one square. You get what I'm saying? You ever heard the term "keep them squares at your circle"? Can <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So they 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 just that square that don't care. They you you you, you ignore them if they if they greet if you greeting them. No, if they greeting you and you ignore them, they gonna assume that you're mad at them only. No, oh, he's just mad at me. Cause I did this, cause I, I, I put food on this plate and I slammed, the, I slammed the food on this plate too hard. So he's mad at me or something like that. Yeah, that's what they think. Nah, it's not that you're mad. You just have self respect for yourself to not tolerate nobody's bullshit anymore. You're not angry at them. You know what you, you know what's wrong. I know what's going on. You're basically. Not there for them. You're ignoring them. You're saying hey to everybody, to everybody else but them. Giving everybody else hugs and kisses except them. Showing them that you're, they're not important. Because they are designed to hurt you. They are designed to break you down. That's what a narcissist is designed to do. But anyway, that's going to be my time. I will be uploading some more videos. And there will be a part two to this. Love you. Like, subscribe, and share. And hit that like button.